Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got an absolutely great carousel for you today. We're using the premium plugin called Wow Carousel for this today. We just built a client site recently using this and it's got some fantastic features. Today we're going to show you how to make a carousel out of just about anything you want. I'm using sections for this today. And it's a great way to put a, a lot of information in a small amount of real estate. If we look at the top here, I've actually got sections rolling around. We've got call to actions, videos, contact forms and things like that. Really easy to do. So let's get started. Let's go down to the dashboard. Once you've installed and downloaded Wow Carousel, and you will need this today to do this, you'll see it right there. And I'll put a link below. It is a premium plugin, but as I said earlier, it's got some fantastic features. Okay, well, I've got a page over here just made up of various different sections. What I'm going to do is take each of these sections and make it into a carousel. So I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Now, once enabled, I'm going to go down and I'm going to save each of these sections to my library. I'm clicking on the section itself, going up to the blue panel, little round icon just to the left of the trash can there. I'm going to give it a name. I'll say user X for this one, perhaps. Save the library. I'm going to go on down. Do exactly the same for the next one. I'll just do one more and then I'll pause the video. No point you watching me do this for all of these sections. I'll call this contact. Okay, I'll continue and pause the video. Okay, well I've saved the, all those to my library now. What I'm gonna do is go back to the page that we are working on. I'm gonna enable the visual builder. Okay, and once enabled, I'm going to go down. I've got a section, the blue tab. Inside, I've got a row containing my carousel. I'm going to delete the row and we'll start from scratch. So I've just got a regular section now. I'm going to add a single column or a row with a single column, I should say. Divi comes with all the light gray modules as standard, plenty enough to build just about any site. When you add the WOW Carousel plugin, you get all these here, and there's some fantastic modules here, there really are. We also build a lot of product carousels for e-commerce sites with this one. And the module we're gonna to use today is the WOW Smart Slider right there. I'm just gonna simply click on it. And here we are, we've got our carousel. Before I add any items, I'm gonna configure the carousel how I want it. So I'm gonna go down to Carousel Settings under the Content tab, under the General. Animation Speed, which is the time it takes to fade or slide from one slide to the other, I'm gonna to put to about 1500 milliseconds or a second and a half. Auto Play, yep, I want it to auto play. Now the auto play speed is the time that it hangs on one slide. I'm gonna make mine about five seconds Actually, for the video, I'll take it down a bit. Let's make it four seconds or 4,000 milliseconds. Now you can choose to have navigation or pagination. Navigation of the little arrows either side, pagination of the little dots, or you can have both or none at all. I'm going to leave mine on navigation. Don't need to use a fixed width slide because all of mine are pretty much the same width. I only want to show one at a time since they're sections. If you're doing modules and things like that, smaller things, you could do more. That's going to work for me. I'll leave it on, fa I'll leave it on slide at the moment then show you the difference between slide and fade when we've got a few. Slide spacing. Well, if you're sliding, I want mine to be absolutely up against each other so there's no gaps. So I'll put a zero there. Don't want any spacing on first and last. Infinite loops fine, it'll keep going round and round and round. If you turn that off, once it gets to the last slide, it's gonna stop. Okay, configuration wise, that's pretty much all I want there. Let's start adding some items. I'm gonna hit the plus for add item. And here we can give it a name and choose what we want to add. Now I saved all those sections to my library, so I'm gonna simply 
go on here, roll down a bit, and start adding some of these. Call it whatever you want. When you put your admin label in there, and save, that's your admin label, so you can tell which size which. Now I want mine to be absolutely full width. Now one thing you might notice while I'm building this, in the back end it might look a bit strange, but when we save it and roll the slider, it'll look absolutely perfect. And this is responsive, it will, will work on tablet and mobile too. So let's make this the way we want it. I'm going to save what we've got here for a moment. I'm going to go into the section, make sure there's no padding up there, because I want mine budded up at the top and bottom. I happen to know there's no padding on this section because I already adjusted it before. But if you want to take the padding away, go over to Design, down to Spacing, put a zero in there, hit the chain, it'll take any padding away from the top and bottom. And we need to do the same for the row, little green tab for the row right here. Design, Spacing, Padding top and bottom, so we're going to put a zero in there, hit the chain, and we've got both sides. Great. But I also want this to be full width. So to do that, we'll go up to sizing just above it. I'm going to slide the width slider up to 100%. I'm going to copy that, control C, and paste it down below in the max width. Or you can type it in if you prefer. We've now got a full width. And like I say, they may look a bit strange as I'm building them on the back end here, but when we go to the front end, it'll all come together and look nice. So let's save this and we'll go back into our carousel and add some more slides. I'll add one more and again, then I'll pause. No point you watching me add several of these, they're all the same. I go to my Divi library, select the slide. Yeah, let's do that one next. Now while we've got a couple in there, you'll see it actually sliding. Like I say, it looks a bit strange on the back end, but don't worry about that. That's a nice effect, but I'm going to change mine to fade, so they fade from one to the other. So if we save this and go back to our main WoW Smart Slider settings, back to the carousel settings, I'm going to roll down a little bit. And I'm going to turn the fade effect on. That way they'll fade in and out rather than slide in and out. They'll still use the same timing as we've got here. Great. Well, I'll pause now and then I'll add a few more. Okay, great. Well, I've added all the other little sections to our little slider here. If we go back down to the carousel settings, we've got an advanced tab also over here. You can decide if you're using the slider whether they go left to right or right to left there. CSS transitions you can change here. Ease in and out is my favorite because it eases one in and then eases it out again. But experiment with those and see what works for you. Lazy loading, that's always a good idea. Lazy loading type progressive or on demand, which means when it actually appears. Progressive is my preferred there. Don't need a auto height because I think all of my sections are pretty much the same height. Yep, we can keep swipe going. That way on tablet and mobile they'll be able to swipe through it. How many items will scroll or fade in at one time? I'm going to keep mine on one as their sections. Like I say, if you're using smaller things like modules, you can up that number if you want. You can actually make this in vertical mode so it goes up and down but I'm leaving mine just as it is. Centre mode, that's great if you're displaying multiples. You'll always have one in the centre, but that's not really relevant for what I'm doing today. You can wait for animate, and you can create your own custom cursor here, or add a custom cursor by putting that on if you want to, and change it to what you want. I'm happy with just the regular. The wrapper, is what the whole thing is contained in, and you can add or take away spacing top and bottom for that if you want to. That's really useful if you're using pagination, you can give it a fixed amount of space on the bottom so it fits correctly. Okay, well if we've done everything correctly now, I'm fairly happy with this. Let's see what it's gonna look like on the front end. I'm gonna save my changes here. I'm gonna go down to the bottom, little purple button, 
save my page changes and let's exit the visual builder and there we have it there's our little slider there there's our first slide second slide and more and more now I've got one little problem here you might see two little half circles either side of the screen there that's actually the navigation I need to pull those in a bit so people can actually see them and know what they are they work fine but they're barely visible there so let's quickly go and do that I'm going to enable the visual builder yeah once enabled I'm going to go back down to my module in here I'm going to go over to the design tab and here's our navigation height and width are fine icon size is fine but I actually want to pull them in which will be horizontal position you can adjust the vertical position up and down if you want to let's take this and see what happens when we move it yeah that's about right don't want it quite as far in as that let's take it to about 20 pixels that's better we can see them nicely there let's perhaps give them a color that's going to work for us on our slider so the icon color itself I'm going to make that white background color I'm going to make it blue but I'm going to take the opacity down a bit click on the color just like any other DV module variegated slider slide that down it'll sort of fade out into the background a little bit but when they hover over it I want it to be full blue color again and common to most Divi modules if you roll over the dark writing you'll see some little icons appear go to the thing that you want to affect in our case the background here if there's a little arrow yes we can click on it it'll give us a desktop there's our desktop color it means when the mouse is not on it and when they hover over it I want it to be that full blue so I'm just put that blue in there like that great just make sure that's going to do what we want it to do now let's save our changes and take another look save the page changes and exit the visual builder and there we go we've got our little web design slide there we've got our little navigation arrows over here when we hover over it's going to go to the dark blue which is great we can go backwards or forwards there's the next one and that is a fantastic way of putting an awful lot of content in a small amount of real estate there so there you have it guys there's how to create a section slider with a wow carousel plugin and again I'll put that link below the video for anybody that wants to check out the wow carousel and if you've got the wow carousel already there is how to create a section slider I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel don't forget if you have any questions pop them below the video I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day